you're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end. You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. What do you do when your battle chooses you? What do you do when something shows up on your doorstep that you did not directly cause, choose, or definitely anticipate? The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Sometimes horrible things happen to you. Good people. Life isn't fair, and it can be heart wrenching. If you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. I don't care how low you are, I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like this. Those normal people, it makes them feel like sh- so they're going to judge you. I don't care how good you are. I don't care how talented you are. There are some times when things aren't going to go right, and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that he can clobber you to the ground and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. You need to make it a habit to start every day validating yourself because life is a marathon and this might be a challenging leg where you're like i'm just going to throw in the towel i'm not going to do that thing hell no when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more it's a lonely feeling oh it, it hurts very badly i know what that's like they look at you with that look and say why don't you try something else why don't you give up Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hate. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. Seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. We turn tragedy into triumphs. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. Are you going to let this horrible situation dictate the way you feel and the way you handle it? Are you going to fall over, fall down, fall apart? 
or are you going to face this issue with courage and with resolution? You know darkness, so embrace, embrace that darkness. Don't look away from it, own it. Step up to the challenge, no matter what you face. Start walking, take that step every day, no matter what you are facing. Get up and start walking and never surrender. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you die. Until you get to that point, you let you die. You never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. You thought you was just gonna have a dream and a goal and you were just gonna wake up and just walk into the sunset. It don't work like that. You have a dream and then life pumps you. Life pumps you and say, do you really want this? And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Get a reward for it. You can break physically. You can break mentally. You can break your heart. You can break your spirit. And all of those are going to leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's some things in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. The fight is just beginning. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain. And you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats. Because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand, we gonna live, and we gonna die by what we stand for. And everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're part of. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight, there's going to come victory. You see, in order to develop real quality, it takes time and it takes pain and it takes endurance, and it takes grief, and it takes trouble, and it takes turmoil, and it takes destruction and demolition. God works in the dirt. The opportunity to grow happens in your life, in your home, in your heart, in your spirit. And you are being planted, but you feel like you're being buried. When you plant a seed, it feels buried. But it was planted to rise again. And most of us think we are being buried when in fact we are only being planted. And when you are planted, that means you're going to get up again. And when you are planted, that means you're going to come forth again. And when you are planted, that means that this is not how the story ends. This is not the end. Don't run from it. Don't hide from it. Don't duck from it. Don't dodge from it. Don't run trying to get away from it because you are not being buried. You are being planted.